The face man was a silver-tongued sex god. Feels so good. Even I'd have done him. Fantasy is my uh, middle name. His gift of the gab not only got him the ladies, but more importantly, blagged anything the A-Team needed to help beat the bad guys. Well, I, I know I have a certain flair for persuasion. The smooth-talking bastard. Uh, Dirk Benedict, a.k.a. No, no, Face no. from the 18. Wrong guy. Dirk, my name is Justin. I'm from Channel 4 in England. Well, you're a long way from home. I'm a long you way must from be home. Lost. Doing a show called Bring Back the 18. And, of course, you were oh, a big part yeah. of the show. You remember the 18? I do, I do. Well, Thank I do, God. I, um, I, I started that, as I remember. I was big in that show. I've carried that can show I pretty sit? much. Do, can I sit, do you think? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Dirk, is this all right? I'm it's doing... a little nerve-wracking. Let me cut to the chase, Dirk. I wish you would. You were face man in the 18 <laughs> for four years between... I'm usually quite good at this, you know, but I'm not used to being uh, what you... ambushed. Well, this is brilliant because... So you're going to bring us back. I am doing this Bring Back show called Bring Back the A-Team. I would love to reunite you with your yeah, fellow castmates. That would be nice, actually. If you can, if you can get some of the guys back together, I, w I, would, I would join you. Come on! There you have it, Dirk Benedict. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Good times. Right. Having charmed all those knickers off on the show, I'm hoping the face might spill his beans on why no female stars lasted more than one series. I'm also gagging to find out about the fisticuffs between the late George Peppard and Mr T. How much fun was it being a part of the 18? It was so much fun. It was it was a guy's show. It was male driven. It was written by guys. It was directed by guys. Acted by guys. It was about what guys do. We talked the way guys talk. We were the boss. We were the god. We were the, we smoked when we wanted. We shot guns when we wanted. We kissed the girls and made them cry when we wanted. Oh. It was the last truly masculine show. Do you think? I'll go on record as saying that. Yeah, male driven. It's all the feminization of television is is complete. It's all. Watched by women, it's uh, run by women, written for women. Guys on it talk the way women want guys to talk. They don't talk like guys. It's just uh, this this feminist fantasy. But, so, so you think in the eighteen back then you were all, I mean, real guys. It was a real guy show. It was, it was guns and well, it was women. Young kids, young boys liked us, and older girls liked us. Moms liked to watch us because we were guys, and women like to watch guys. I'm sorry, I know that's kind of a sexist statement, but they like, it's kind of, it was kind of appealing to watch George Papard be so confident and so sure. Off camera, were you all guys? Did that kind of sense of, you know, testosterone kind of prevail? Well, late Thursdays, I occasionally dress up, but... <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, pretty much. <laughs> the thing is, though, Dirk, that, I mean, there were a couple of big female characters in that show. We had Amy, right. first of all, and then, of course, Amy was uh, replaced right. uh, by Tonya. Well, the problem with Amy, uh, 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 Melinda Coulee, she yeah. wanted to be a guy. Dwight and I pleaded with her to play the girl. No, she wanted a gun. She wanted a fist fight. She wanted to come through the door. I said, that's what T does. Yeah. That's what George does. Yeah. So I think... Uh, Is that why she was dropped? Or why the character well, was dropped? I really don't know, although we were blamed for it. I, I just one day found out. She was complaining a lot. So I know. they we, and we were a hit. We were a number one show, and they didn't need that. And I think they just thought, you know, this is tiresome. Do, do you think Mr. T became the star of the show it and was, George Peppard didn't like that because Peppard, of course, I was the Hollywood guy? Mr. Peppard did not realize what a big star Mr. T was before the show. You know, he did Rocky. He yeah. was like a really big deal. It was a huge film. It was a huge film and he was huge in it and, and he was had this great story from rags to riches. When we'd go shoot, he was mobbed. T was mobbed. And that did bother George. Yeah. I think it did, which was sad. I remember stories at the time where George wouldn't talk directly to T, so if he needed to say something to T, he would kind of maybe do it through you. George would say to me, uh, Dirk, would you tell the man with the gold that next time we do this, I would appreciate it if he could say his line a little sooner. And I go, okay. And one's there, I'm in the middle, one's oh. there. I mean, they're this close. I go, T. Uh, George wants to know if next, and T is going. <laughs> <laughs> but I would do it. I go because it was, it was yeah. bizarre. It was fun. George would ask me to do it, so I go. T. George wants to know if next time you, uh, would you say a line a little faster? And T would be going. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Mr. Papa, I ain't no actor, but I I'll try. I'll try my best. I said, George, T's gonna try. He's gonna do his best. Okay. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's <laughs> funny. 
Can we do this so you're coming along to the reunion? I'll be there. Come on. All right, let's hear it. Dirk Benedict, a.k.a. Templeton Face Pet. You'll have security to keep all the fans away. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'll have tea. He's big enough. <laughs> He's he can big. keep the fans away. You'll never ambush Mr. T and live to talk about Wait, it. You don't no. think I'm going to get him? No, no way. Forget it. You would be surprised I to see I think you him. have a better chance of getting George Papar. I've got more chance of getting Peppard than I've got of getting Mr. <laughs> T. Right. That's not good. Good luck, pal.